There we go. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Let's make the sequel. There we go. How's everyone tonight? Hope everyone's doing well. I was running a few minutes behind because I had to brush my hair and we got started on dinner a little late. But I'm here now. <laughs> Tired could use more coffee. Same. Wish I could have coffee right now, but it is too late in the day. That is not something I can do. I need to move my mouse over to this screen. There we go. Is it anniversary stream? <laughs> Brandon's, I'm drinking coffee right now. <sighs> I'm doing well, otherwise. Uh, I went for a bike ride today and I did not get very far and I was very sad about it. But I didn't overexert myself too much. Oh, it was the anniversary, oh, anniversary tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is Steven's and my dating anniversary. So that's the anniversary. <laughs> Noah says, if I have coffee now, I will throw up. If I have coffee now, I will not sleep tonight. And that would be very sad. <sighs> Brandon says, didn't overexert yourself too much. Yeah, I was talking to Brandon about it earlier. It's like, this was a mistake. It was too far. Pushed myself a little bit too much. Probably shouldn't have done that. We just had a hype train finish. Thank you all. We have a five month three sub from Eliasan89. 11 months from Dude4269. 11 months from Gaxtronaut. 12 months from Dragon Girl. And we decided last stream, Chaz did, that this is what we do for year anniversaries. Uh, we have a six month three sub from an E3, eight months from Keto Loves SM, and 12 months from Vagabond. I still can't believe I've streamed for a year. There was people hitting 12 months last week. It's wild. Also, I am warm in this room today. It's getting to be spring, so um, it's not as cold in this room because the garage is not getting as cold during the day. Not 12 months yet. You'll hit a full year in April. Okay. That makes sense. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to finish the big canvas today. I'm thinking I got to check my notes and I got to look at it because I haven't had time to look at it. That's been the problem. I needed to like look at it and consider and think about how I feel about it. And I haven't done that because like I was a little bit late for stream. It's finishing up dinner, I brush my hair. Had a few things to do, probably should have just started with more time on the timer, but that's okay. We have 11 months from Missing No Leader and 10 months from Gel89. Thank you both. Darkness Brides says, I love your shirt. Thank you. This is an Okage shirt. You can't see Ari, but he's at the bottom underneath Stan. Oh, maybe that'll be what I work on late spring, early summer. All right, so I did notice when I st stood in here earlier and turned on my lights, I was like, oh, this looks better than I remember, which is good. <laughs> There's Okage merch. I think this was one of those like t-shirt of the day things. Jacebook gifted a sub to Vinny G, Vinny G plays. Thank you. Thank you for the gift sub. I'm a little bit frazzled because I was running late. Um, let's see, what did my notes say? The 10 o'clock tree, which is this guy, needs to get darkened. So if I hold that up there, I made it way too light. I need to darken that one. So that's one I need to fix. And then I wrote, how do we feel about the leaves overall? And overall, I feel good about them. I feel like there's a good amount. I need to not compare it to the photo. And then I wrote dark and outer edges. So what I mean by that is I feel like some of this could just get a little bit darker. And maybe fixing the 10 o'clock tree will help because that is going to get darker. 
So that's kind of some of the thought I have. Those were my three notes. And even if I need to add more leaves and darken the outer edges and definitely fix 10 o'clock tree, that's not that much to do. So, um, how dried out is my paint? Some of it is quite dried out. Some of it is quite damp still. Good, it's still open. Stars, uh, we can see a few. Like there's one here, one here, one here, one here, tiny one. There's a couple in here. And I'm not sure I wanna add more. Cause the moon is so bright, you don't see as many when the moon is this bright. I do wish like this one was like right here, but I can't fix that. All I could do is paint another leaf to cover it and then put one here on purpose, which is a possibility. I'll add it to my list. Cause I feel like if I move that down, it would feel slightly more visible and less hidden. Cause like the rest of them are hidden. Where's my pencil? Star near red tree, move. Okay, I added that to my list. All right, so what I need to do first is I don't have any of these greens still, of course. Of course not. So what I need to probably do is, um, I, this light green is good. I need a darker green and then black, and that'll be enough to fix that tree. And now those colors are somewhere over here, but I think as long as I get close, which might've been this color, I think we're good. All right. My palette is also not cleaned off because I was behind. So we're gonna do a few things. Anyway, so I said I was biking. Um, I went biking and I only got like almost to two miles and I was like, oh my God. And I had to stop for like five minutes, which sucked. And then I was like, I should not bike any further. And I turned around and went home. And it was about as half as long as I wanted to do. So that was sad. But the important thing is I did not go further than that. When I noticed there was a problem, I stopped. The other thing I noticed is um, my bike probably needs a really good clean and I probably need to grease it as well. <laughs> you were warned. Yeah, I was warned. But I didn't do terrible. Like I listened mostly kind of. Brandon says, it's also important you did it at all. That's what Chaz said, because I did message Chaz, despite it being like 4 a.m. in Japan. And I was like, Chaz, I'm very sad. And he's like, you went, it is okay. <laughs> Have you taken your bike mudding? No, I don't go out in the rain. I can, I just haven't had a desire to but it does get dirty. And I noticed that today because I had to fill my tires. Because the guy we bought Steven's bike from was like, you should check your tires once a week. <laughs> Brandon says, I do, some of the trails are muddy. Yeah, they weren't really muddy today. Um, what am I doing? Making green. Uh, let's see, I probably don't need titanium white, but I do need cyan, yellow, magenta, and carbon. And now I can use the same green and the carbon black to darken all of the outer edges that I want to do. So um, this is dual purpose. Mr. Raichu Dude says, has it been raining? I missed that part. Um, not today. Did it rain yesterday? It rained recently. I'm trying to think.
But yeah, my bike could use a good clean. What I should do is I should like see if someone can teach me about basic bike bike maintenance because I really don't know anything. I did watch a video. But I really wish I knew more. But it was warm enough today that I didn't have to wear long sleeves. So like I was able to wear like a tank top and just some of my like bike leggings. So that was nice to like have some sunshine at least. Hold up, I'm gonna put this way over here. <laughs> Where do you get mud without rain and snow? Uh, it rained recently, so things just take a while to dry sometimes. What was the weather today? Uh, when I went out, it was around 70 and sunny-ish, but it was like starting to get to be, um, starting to go down for the sun. It was like getting slightly dark. The sun hadn't gone down yet, but it was definitely like behind trees. These colors are in my way. Colors from last week. All I know is when I went outside, the neighborhood children were screaming. They had like a ton of like plastic lawn furniture, like little kid lawn furniture, like stuff that was only like this tall, like in the street. <laughs> the rock children? Yeah. The rock children. So I'm starting by trying to make this green because this green is the first green we started with because it's the most saturated green over here. I was amused because when I first went out there, uh, they were like jump roping. And I went and I grabbed the trash cans and brought the trash cans in because they've been out and probably needed to go into the garage. And I was amused because the older boy was like, oh, the trash cans, and he brought his in. And so I was amused that he saw that and then did that. So this green um, I just mixed. I don't know if you can tell the difference. You can see it looks a little bit darker. I mean, it's shiny because it's wet, but it is darker. So I'm working a little bit different than that. That's not desaturated enough. More red. The other thing that's strange about um, these children is um, there's a keypad and the keypad gets left up and I don't know why it's not us <laughs> Noah says when I was visiting the children were selling rocks uh, how much were they selling them for, Boop Snoot says, and Noah says, I don't remember, we avoided them. And Brandon says, they sell other stuff too, like lemonade and sticks. They flagged me down like I was walking in downtown Vegas. They're little entrepreneurs. They're persistent. My guess is the oldest one is maybe, I would say he's eight. Vagabond, do they have a permit? Noah, or Brandon says, there's something all right. <laughs> Noah says, we avoided them. <laughs> See, they've never asked me to buy anything. They recognize me. <laughs> Boop. 
We do have like a two-way intersection, like where um, it's not a four-way stop sign, but it's like, it's still an intersection, but like only one direction has stop signs. And as I've been driving, I've almost gotten T-boned there twice. And that's frustrating. Um, but today <laughs> I almost got hit on my bike there. And I, I had some weird suspicion. I was like, mm, I should probably not blaze through this intersection even though I don't have a stop sign. So I slowed down. Sure enough, car came around and sped through it. And like, I wasn't in danger. I was definitely stopped. Like, I was fine, but it made me very nervous. And he looked at me because he definitely saw me stopped there when I didn't need to be stopped. I was not happy. We have an 11 month resub from Seemingly Jess. Thank you. Is it the same car every time? No. Uh, one time it was a van. One time it was like a work truck that has like, uh, like the open back that has like the rails on it. And then this time it was uh, a red Tesla. Maybe bug the city for a stop sign. Ooh, that's a good idea. Should just do that. <laughs> I added a little bit of black to this green mix. And I don't know, it feels ashy. It also doesn't feel yellow enough, and I'm out of yellow. So let's add some more. That feels better of a color. Let's grab a little paintbrush and test it. Ooh, that's too bright. Never mind. Too bright. Not there yet. Uh, also out of primary red. Magenta. We have a 12 month resub from Light Rock. Paintbrush clicks. Thank you, Light Rock. Light Rock says, yay, one year anniversary. It is wild, it's been a year. For those of you who may be just joining us, I am trying to make a new green, a darker green, um, like the green that's here, so I can darken up this tree, because this tree's too light. Drumming stream one. See, I played clarinet. And then I got out of doing marching band because I was color guard captain for most of high school, because we didn't have many color guard members. Oh snap, green too. Wake up, new green just dropped. This feels like it should be right. Time to test it again. 
Are you just like... Is it because it's still wet? Does it dry darker? Is that my problem here? Shoot. <laughs> Like I said before, you can drum with a clarinet if you do it wrong enough. One of the first exercises we did, I remember, is um, if you take just the mouthpiece and the barrel off a clarinet, like you take the top mouthpiece off of it, like you have basically like a really weird kazoo. And it just, it's like a party horn noise. And like we were just trying to learn how to like make noise on the clarinet and they decided that that would be really fun for fifth graders to do and i assume it was just the worst for like three weeks while they taught us how to like make noise on a reed so shout out to like all like the introductory band band teachers because like that has to be terrible i remember doing that on trumpet it's the same idea but with a wind instrument like a or with a reed instrument All right, I got it a little bit more yellow. And we're just gonna darken this with some black. Cause then we have that and then we have black. As a drummer, we played on two by fours so we got some marching in uh, before we got to marching instruments. Ooh, that's neat. We had this one song and it had the, um, the two pieces of wood that go bam and they're like on a hinge. I don't remember what that's called. And someone got like super aggressive with it and broke it during our concert. <laughs> it was in the song. It was like, what that person was in charge of playing for the song, but I remember they broke it and my band teacher was not very happy. Okay, I think this green will work. Sorry, just had a thought because I thought about it as I put this down on the ground. This is the green we need. Obviously. Where is a good paintbrush for this? This guy. Vagabond says, if we're finishing this today, are we working on the grease eye next? Yes. So what I want to do, where did I put the grease eye? It's over here. Where it can't get paint on it. Here's the grease eye. What I want to do is I want to finish the big painting because I'm almost done with that. And then I want to finish this. And um, like I was saying, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to ship this. So one of these will go on eBay. Haven't figured that out yet. Both will be on Redbubble. So I want to have them both done. And then I'll be able to deal with that. So I will work on the grease eye next week. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's not 100%, but that is okay. It is a different tree, and it's just this one tree over here. Okay, we're gonna rotate this so it's closer to my reach. Okay, so this tree goes all the way to the red leaves here. It's this whole thing right here that I need to darken and not lose some of this in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this green that I made. And I'm gonna set this up here on the ledge. And I'm going to go in and kind of just cover up some of the lighter colors. And then um, do the same thing, but with black.
Like, that's already helping a lot. What is rattling? So much. Is this not tight? Something is like continually like making a noise. What is it? Welcome back, Aiden. Thank you. All right, that's enough of that. So now we're gonna switch to carbon black and do the same thing. The other thing I'm gonna have to do off camera is probably paint all of the edges. And like, I know I did like black over here, but like I have to wrap the canvas with all the rest of the detail. And that's gonna be off screen because that's difficult to do. Because like I have to stand up or I have to like tilt it and you guys can't even see what I'm doing. This helps a lot though. I like it better. And I have the worst glare. Let's fix this so I can see it for a second.
better. Okay. I'm dark and everything else. We have a four month three sub from Rachie Girl Six. Thank you. We're still talking about Pan. Renee says we only had two oboe players. We had one oboe player. And we had one bassoonist. And I was the bass clarinetist. So like the three of us hung out. <laughs> so this is me um, darkening the edges, even though what was supposed to be next was like the leaves overall, which by that I meant like this sort of thing and not like all of this, but that's okay. Move all of these. That was what was rattling. <sighs> all right, where else do I want to darken? I'm just kind of working my way around things. Cause like this is way too bright down here. And so is this. That helped a lot into black to basically do the same thing, but a little bit more on some of the areas. Probably should have pulled my hair back. Did I say that already? I thought it.
I just poked my new earring piercing. Ugh. Ouch. It's been just about like full healing time on my third piercings, but um, the left one's been just giving me trouble. I don't know why. I think I need to have the post shortened. And I went in with Haley at some point and the guy was like, I think it's fine. And I was like, mm, I don't believe you, but I have another short post so I can just do it myself. Do I sleep on my left side? I sleep on both. I don't like to sleep on my back because I always get back pain. This is such serious music. Like I know it's a chill stream, but it's not dramatic stream. Vegabon says, we can make it dramatic. <laughs> what do you propose? <laughs> Renee says, listen, leaves are serious. chalk. Hmm. I may have to give this a really good scrub down when I'm done with it. I think that helped darken the piece up as a whole, which is what I felt like it had been missing. <laughs> Thomas Dramatic doesn't sound like him. Alright, I need stuff to cover up my paint. And clean off this brush. And then look at my list of what I need to do yet. o'clock tree. That's done. I darkened the outer edges. So how do I feel about the leaves overall? I kind of feel like I want this, like in the photo, this part sits on top of the moon, but I didn't want to lose that. How 
How do I feel about it though? I think I feel fine about it how it is. I think I could add more of these individual leaves here. Ten o'clock tree looks way better. Yeah, I think this is really all I want to do is add a little bit more stuff into this part where these handful of stars are. That's how I feel about leaves. So we're going to rotate this back and bring that here. Probably start with my lighter colors, which is not this one. It's this one. And despite having my hoodie on when I brushed my hair, there's still hair all over me. Oh no. Shoot. The pink got a little stringy and left a little bit of string. So if I'm quick, I can just scrub it right off the canvas. I did it again. I want this to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to make just a slightly lighter yellow. Just for a few to really stand out.
And because this is like orange and yellow, which tend to be pretty transparent colors to begin with, I feel like I need to do a lot of paint. Otherwise it's just transparent. You can see some of the sky through it. And I think I lost the brown color I had mixed. Figures. Yep, I didn't have enough of it mixed. Have a good night, Rachel, dude. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm trying to just fill in leaves in this area, but not go over stars because we have not enough stars anyway. And there's not many stars, so it's just easy to be like, oh, don't tap there. Don't put one there on top of everything else. I do think there needs to be a little bit more tree branch in this one spot. Okay, those are good. So how do I feel about final leaves? Now, good. And now I just want to move the star. Hmm, it's the best way to do that. So there are some orange leaves and yellow leaves in this area. So what if I just um, put one of those over that? Lovely. Now I just gotta put a new star. You can still kind of see it.
That's better. This probably isn't the best brush for that. Let's find a better one. Script liner is way too long. This one, I think. This will be good. I think that's good. Okay, cool. Now I gotta figure out exactly what I wanna do to sign this. We have a 12 month resub from Fossix. Thank you, Fossix. Here's your paintbrush clicks. <laughs> 12 months, baby. Yeah. <laughs> sign the moon. <sighs> if I did that, it'd have to be like super tiny. And then I don't know. If That'll work great. All right, chalk. Nope, I already don't like the placement. <laughs> you guys don't know how often I have to like redo this part. spilling water and like I said it's not done I have to do the sides but that's not a today problem that'll be like a this week problem So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign this in white and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna probably go over it in a green. And despite doing it in chalk, I never go right over my lines. We gotta let that dry for a bit.
Okay. We're gonna leave this sit for a few minutes and then um, I'll probably work on the grease eye a bit yet tonight while I wait on this to dry because I need to erase the chalk and go over this with the green and uh, that needs to sit. <laughs> I know a few people have just come in. Hi, welcome. We are just finishing up Big Canvas, but I am going to work on the Grease Eye, the twin, a little bit tonight. Because I want to paint more and it's only been an hour. Otherwise, I'm going to paint next week. The same thing. So, might as well get started now if I want to paint. Feeling a bit off today? I'm sorry, Fossix. Storms is mildly stressed. I'm also sorry to hear that. And Circle Last Squared says, I wasn't doing well earlier, but I have Shake Shack now. Distracted by Chaz, I'm sorry. For those of you who have not heard, Chaz is in Japan. And uh, I've seen, so far I've seen just airline food photos, but I did get to see the vlog clip that Chaz took in Japan at the airport. There was a Pokemon. So there will be vlog footage of Chaz's trip in Japan. You know what just occurred to me? And I was complaining about having my hair shed everywhere. I have a lint roller right here. Can't wait to see what Pokemon. I can tell you it was not one I would have guessed. Fossick says, I think I know what it is. I can imagine you're right, honestly. Out of everyone, I bet you do know what one it is. I do know Steven's been working on the like fashion vlog where we had him try on his clothes. So I do know that's being worked on or is done or almost done or something. So you do all have that to look forward to at some point. He better not cut a lot. I haven't watched it. I do wish I would have printed out the other one like this on photo paper, but I didn't. I think I just worked on it from my phone. Cause I have paper copies of this one. Cause I was trying to like grid it and see exactly where things went. But I don't think I have a photocopy of the other one. Kind of a pain. Gextronaut says, I'm excited for what sounds like some good roasting. There's going to be good roasting. This is what was rattling. When I was tapping, this is what was making the noise. You're empty too, so you can go away. You don't need to be on here. <laughs> Sapphire Becca says, Chaz vlog. Chaz clip inside the vlog, really. It's a short, it's a shortcut, short clip, but it's good. I'm very excited that he filmed things. <sighs> All right, how are we doing on drying? The other thing I can do is where'd my scrub brush go? I can scrub away some of this chalk so it's not as confusing. That is slightly better. All right, green. So I have some green, but I need it to be dark, but I don't want it to be quite as dark as what I've mixed because then you won't see it. So I need to lighten it just a little bit. And I only need enough to really go over my name.
And because there's white paint under this, it's lighter than I really need it to be, so it may take a few layers. Yeah, that's going to need another layer or two. It's just, it probably looked like it disappeared, but I can see it really well on my end. But it needs another layer because it's kind of like patchy looking. You can see the um, white through in places from when I did it with the paint marker. So it's going to need another layer. That's fine. It just means I need to let it dry again. We have a 12 month resub from Pete Cal. Here is your paintbrush clicks. Congrats on hitting a year. We also have nine months from Danny X6. Thank you. Trill Girl says, I really like the paintbrush clicks. Chaz had a good idea. I wonder if he came up with it on the spot or not or if he'd been thinking about it. It's hard to say. Hi. Hi. Are you done with your shower? Yeah, do you need anything? Yeah, actually I do. do um, I'm done with this canvas. You're done? Uh-huh. Like it's finished? It's finished. It well, I have edge to paint and I need to re-go over my name one more time, mm -hmm. but it's drying. Okay. Um, and so I'm gonna work on the uh, grease eye a little bit. So um, you know how big that is? and how zoomed out I am for big canvas. Are you able to zoom in or move the camera forward yeah, for me? There's no zoom. Uh, yeah, I know. This that's, is a prime. Yeah. But can I move things? Yes. Yeah. Let me set this back here so I can set the grease eye up so you can see it. And I know with the computer, you can only go so close. <laughs> Mildly better, yes, thank you. Zone. It's not. Well, that's. Is it something. blurry now? It's something. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. See you later. Okay. Love you. Love you more. Is chat in the splash zone? No, chat is over there. Water is here. Pigamon, clearly we need another lens. No, we need another camera. An overhead one so you can watch me mix paint. Right? Isn't that what you want? Welcome to Closer View. Here. Alright, I'm gonna do one more layer on this and then we'll switch to the grease eye. <laughs> Welcome to Closer Canvas. We're glad you're here. Just have cam seven cameras set up as a clear answer. I need a close up. I need 
like the wide and then I need an overhead. Clearly that's what we should do. Don't tell Steven. Are you dry enough? Yeah, I can erase this. Oh yeah, that needs another layer. Oof. Like not only because it's a little transparent, but because I didn't cover all of the white paint on some of the edges. Yeah, that looks way better. Can you guys see that or is it behind chat? It's behind chat, that's fine. I'm almost done. Way better. Much happier with that. I'll hold it up so you can see. <laughs> I agree, circle now, now squared. Jingle Punks has good bops. We went to a diner yesterday because we had to go return some of Steven's pants that he ordered because they weren't right. And um, our server kept singing, you ain't nothing but a hound dog over and over and over again from like behind the bar. Like it was like a diner diner, kind of like Waffle House, but it wasn't Waffle House. Like she was standing behind like the counter, like where people would sit at the counter service. And she kept singing, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. We're like the, almost the only people in there. There's no music playing and it's just that one line. That's it. She didn't sing the lines before or the lines after. Yeah, that is the garage. So like she'd sing that line and it'd be like five minutes later and she'd be like, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. And then it'd be like another 10 minutes and she'd sing it again. It was wild. Okay, I don't wanna hit the mic with big canvas. There, there's name, can you see it? It's down in the bottom corner. It's not quite in the corner corner. It's here. So it's like visible, but it's not super visible. So big canvas is done. Um, we're gonna work on Grease Eye for a bit. Maybe she had an earworm for that spe specifically that part. Yeah, but there was no other music or anything playing. So it was kind of like, <laughs> all right, big canvas, time to move. Sorry, I hit the mic. Set you over there and grab the grease eye. Grease eye. So I'm done with the sky on this and I really like how it turned out. Um, I am seeing canvas texture through, but that is fine. We live with that. So what I need to do is I need to start tapping in colors for leaves and build it up just like I built up the last painting. <laughs> and I have the hiccups really bad. 
So it's just gonna kind of be the same thing where we're tapping in leaves until we're happy with it. <laughs> Three side, gri sai. So it rhymes with like Versailles, the palace, um, but it's G-R-I-S for gray, which is the French word for gray. Is it the My Ambiance song? Yes, that's how you spell it, circle now squared. All right, how do I wanna do this? What brushes do I wanna use? I need small brush, cause small canvas. Now I don't really have a ton of small bristle brushes. And that is the problem I have right now. Because tapping that in doesn't work as good with synthetic brushes. I need the randomness. Honestly, the one I was using to click with is probably the best one I have for this. And the other thing I think I want to do is I'm gonna use some of this dark green I mixed up today. Use that for tapping in color and see where that brings us to. That sounds like a fair plan. <laughs> Auto Chaz on high alert to replace manual Chaz. So I'm using, um, I'm not gonna be using the exact same colors because like they've dried out between week to week, um, but they're similar. I'll be mixing similar colors. So like this ends here. And there's a lot of brightness back here. What I should do is I should get this printed off for next week. Remind me tomorrow to print an 8x10 of the twin grease eye painting. Cool, thank you. Now, I feel like doing it this technique, it's not going to come together as fast. So I need to kind of um, accept that about this piece. Let's look at this fully zoomed out so I know where I'm at. This is all the orange. Okay. The other thing I could probably do, or shape, what do we got here? It's behind chat. I could raise up this bar. That would probably be useful for you all. Feels like every week a theme for the dark world starts playing. Let's raise this up so you can see it better. And it's not behind chat. I've painted so much that all the paint on these sidebars um, make this hard to get on and off. Ooh, that is up in the air.
And it's hard because I'm working in all these dark colors right now, so um, I do know it is hard for you to see what I'm doing exactly. But just kind of like the big painting when I was doing the dark colors back here, it all came together. Once I get to like a lighter color than this, you'll definitely start to see it. I was going to say this feels like a Sonic song. I am a fan of how this is going because I do really like how all of these leaves turned out when I drew them in like this with the black. So um, I am excited about this. We have 11 month resub from the Queen's Thief. Thank you. Who has my wave emote? I don't know if I should spoil this. There's more emotes coming soon. I've seen them in progress. I'm very excited. There's a handful of them, and some of them are animated. All right, these pines are all pretty solid black, but like there are a few like other leaves that come into here that do get a little bit of this color. I'm gonna try to paint some of these edges the best I can because it's small so it's easy to do. Big canvas is harder because I have to like turn it and it gets in the way of everything.
Becca says, I was AFK. New emotes? I'm not sure when. I do know they are in progress. I have seen some of them in progress and I'm very excited. That's all I really know. Now a lot of this over here is just like solid silhouette, but I'm just tapping in some of this green because um, I can see it. So that means in person, whoever sees it will see it and there will be some something there. It just won't be solid black. It gives just a little bit of interest to it, I think. Did I do the bottom of this? I did. Good job. Thank you, self, for doing that and thinking ahead. We have an 11 month resub from JF Samella. Thank you. <laughs> no, it says thanks, past Mal. I love when thanks, <laughs> when past Mal is kind of future Mal. It is helpful. I do have to bring in a little bit of Mars in a few places because I noticed some places where some of the stuff I had done with the grease eye to do like the, the wash over the top kind of made a mess. Honestly, I feel like some of the tapping I just did with that color helped a lot. Like way more than I thought it would, so. Cool. Success. We can move on to a lighter color. Noah says, past Noah isn't usually kind to future Noah. What can current Noah do for future Noah? We're gonna have to mix a new green again. I will have to do this path at some point down here because it looks good, but it needs something. It's not right yet. All right, lighter green. We have 11 months from Kit Khalid, thank you. Who says, woo, art on my work break. There's some art on your work break. We did finish Big Canvas, so we're working on Grease Eye. And um, we'll work on this next week too. I will be streaming on Monday next week. This is way too bright. Hmm. 
Now here's the question. Do I mix in some of the dark green with this or do I not? Because the dark green has black in it. And if I want this to be different, I don't think I should do that. Where did that brush go that I was using? Was it this one? Yeah, this one's damp. So like back here on the path, it's a lot lighter. I'm trying to remember that this is just going to look bad until it, it's not. <laughs> it's hard. Because it's just going to be a mess. And I hate that. But that's how it is. But like it's already looking better. It's starting to get some dimension instead of just being a silhouette, which is what I want it to be.
I'll show off big canvas um, before I'm done for the night. I'll bring it back out. These are starting to like kind of glow though, which is good. All right, the thing I wanna finish up on is I want to look at my picture and then fill in some of the tree trunks I just painted over. which are kind of a pain. Like this guy, this one here. Very scritchy. Um, this guy continues above that. Let's see. This here. My iPad was almost dead, so I had to plug it in, and um, it keeps dying on me. Like, the screen keeps going dark because it's not fully charged. It's not dead dead, it's just kind of being a pain. This is a tree trunk too. I'm gonna probably switch to a brush. Every time I open these, I just get paint everywhere. Oop, don't drop the ceramic.
That feels better. It doesn't make much of a difference, I think, on camera, but it does to me, and I can see things a little bit better because of it. <laughs> Taking off low power mode should fix that. Yeah, but I was just trying to finish these. All right. I want to do a huge shout out to my patrons. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you're interested in the perks that come with that, you can check out the links that will be in chat. One of which is Discord at the $10 tier. You can get access to our Discord server, the same one as Steven's. But thank you all to my patrons for your support. Um, when I do have my new emote set, I will be debuting, debuting them there first before I put them on Twitch. So those people will get to see them first. I'm hoping that it'll be soon. I don't actually know what the timeline is or what was discussed. That was not something I was part of. I just get to see them. Um, what else is coming up? Tomorrow we're going to be streaming Zelda on Steven's channel at our normal stream time. We are playing Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe someday we'll get to Lurland Village. It might be tomorrow. It might not. Um, what else is going on? I'll be streaming Monday, working on this some more. Um, continuing to tap in different colors like I've been doing. I just remembered that I wanted to fill in these. Whoops. There's a few tree branches there. Um, yeah, so I'll be working on this next week. Um, I mean, there is a tier there. Yeah, we do have to get the tier down there in Laurelin Village or near it. It's like the hook. It's like a sword or something. Um, and next week on Tuesday, we're going to be finishing off Moon RPG. We have uh, endgame stuff to do, and I'm very excited for Steven to see that and for you all to see that as well. Um, Steven did spend time on Wednesday doing the fishing tournament, and he finally got it. So we have collected all the love in the game. Moon has been great. I've been really excited to show you all a game that I really liked. <laughs> Just a little time doing the fishing tournament. Uh, let's show off Big Canvas. Also, this will be blurry, but you can kind of see like the trees that I just drew in in there. They're going to catch the light a little bit better. So you can kind of see how this piece will come together, but I'm still just tapping in color like I did on the big one, but it's small. So like I said, these are really just going to be twin images. They're similar, but they're a little different. We have an 11 month resub from Murmur. Thank you, Murmur. All right, here's big canvas. And the only thing I have left on Big Canvas is to paint the edges. And looking at it here, from the two I can see, there's really not that much to do on these edges. So this is basically done. Ugh. So let's start here and try and turn it so there's no glare. So there's the top. I'm gonna hit the mic. And then there's the bottom. So there's Big Canvas. I'm gonna hit the mic again. Because I really don't like doing that. Oh, I moved it up. <laughs> Do you see this, this gap? I was like, why isn't it sitting flush? It's because the shelf got moved up. So there's big canvas. Big canvas is all the way done on the face. So um, thanks for tuning in as I've been working on this. It's been fun to paint something this large and slightly more freeform and then to contrast it with the grease eye that I gridded and then I'm doing a totally different technique, but they're similar images. So I am very excited to see these completed next to each other, which is part of the reason why I'm going to wait to finish this one before I do figure out shipping for this if I can do that. Um, one of these definitely will be for sale. They will both be on Redbubble when they're both done. So I want to have them done in side by side because I think that will be very cool to see. Yes. So thanks everyone for being here. Do we have a raid message? Is any of my friends streaming right now? Masay, Josh, and Dan are playing Fortnite. Oh <clears throat> 
Tom is also up. <coughs> Lots of friends streaming. Um, where is Twitch on my phone? I got rid of a bunch of apps that I don't need. So I have to find everything again. Oh, um, let's see. Let's go with art rattles. Cause that's all I remember from the stream. <laughs> so we are going to be raiding Dan. Oh, I need to go to my chat, not Dan's chat. So I can raid. Chat. Motion Dan. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Kit Khalid says, thank you mods. Yes, thank you mods for being here while Chaz is out of town. I'm very jealous and I miss Chaz already. <laughs> so we're gonna raid Dan. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow on Steven's channel for Tears of the Kingdom and Monday here for working on the Grease Eye painting. And because I don't have a Chaz to hit the button, we have to sit here for a minute before we can actually go to see Dan. <laughs> Renee says, see, we are nice and gentle with Mal. We only torture Steven. Mods are great. We had a chaos meter this morning that Vagabond made that got posted on breakfast stream, which I loved when I first saw it and I loved it even more today. I think I am going to go relax after this. <laughs> Noah says an extremely accurate chart. <laughs> Fossick says, I wanna do another mod alignment chart. How about you each do one? Be like, I'm doing the McDonald's one or I'm doing the, can I copy your homework one? <laughs> I think it would be fun. Thomas did a bunch for like Steven and friends people for a while. <laughs> Thanks for giving me more work. Noah, it's not a requirement, it's optional. There's no due date on it. Oh, there goes, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Hi, Dan. Let me pull my own chat back up. <laughs> there we go. All right, thanks everyone for being here. Um, if you didn't go say hi to Dan, go say hi to Dan. Hope you all have a great night and I will see you tomorrow for Tears of the Kingdom and more painting on Monday. Night everyone.